The government telling the Supreme Court today that it had nothing to hide but citing national security reasons to say that it would not file a detailed affidavit in response to the multiple petitions that have asked for a formal inquiry into the Pegasus phone hacking scandal. Solicitor General Tushar Mehta, appearing on behalf of the center, told the court statements on this issue cannot be made through affidavits and filing and then making it part of public discourse is not possible. We cannot let terrorists know what software is being used, he declared. Now, the court has for the moment reserved its orders, but a very annoyed uh, Supreme Court reminding the government that it understood the national security argument, but that it was only asking the government to respond to claims of hacking of individuals' phones, including opposition leaders like Rahul Gandhi, industrialists like Anil Ambani, journalists and activists who had been critical of the current administration, the Chief Justice uh, also pointing out that uh, beating around the bush was not helping. He also said we will see what orders we have to pass, an indication that uh, the court might in fact ask for an affidavit nonetheless. Uh, well, yes, uh, so this is uh, in uh, some ways a sort of turnaround for the centre in terms of the fact that uh, it got at least two different time windows to file its affidavit uh, once in the month of August when the hearing had taken place and the centre cited national security despite that it was given at least 10 days to file an affidavit on the matter. Then when the next hearing was uh, supposed to take place last week, it then again sought time to file its affidavit and today it said that it can't file an affidavit because national security and national interests are involved. It is willing to form a committee. This committee would have experts that would be absolutely independent, would have nothing to do with the government. The committee can look into all kinds of issues, including any issues of whether individuals' phones were hacked and uh, what was uh, the technology that was used. All of these issues can be analysed through this committee, but the matter cannot become public discourse as terror elements can use this information to go against India. That was uh, the logic that was put forth by the centre. But uh, since uh, Solicitor General Tushar Mehta kept reiterating the issue of national security, that's when the Chief Justice uh, uh, sort of retorted and said that you can't keep going on beating around the bush. We've already said that we also don't want to hamper national security. But uh, if individuals are claiming their phones were hacked, then there is uh, some sort of information that has to come out from the centre's end. But because the centre wasn't willing to file an affidavit, finally the Supreme Court has reserved its interim orders in the matter, which will be announced uh, within next two to three days. However, the Supreme Court has given liberty to the government that if it changes its mind and decides to file an affidavit, it can approach the Supreme Court in the meanwhile.